All right, so today you're gonna to join me and we're gonna show you quickly how to make a charging station. Typically when I'm sitting down, I've got my Alexa right here and I have a tremendous number of uh, devices on here and it's kind of annoying. And I thought to myself, I wonder if I could maybe figure out a better way to do this. So what I have with me is this guy right here. This is from my dishwasher. Um, I was going to actually throw it out. It's kind of old, but I said, well, I wonder if I could keep this, mount this on the wall, and then I could put what I'm charging, iPhone, my phone, anything in here, my headphones, and drop them in here, except I'm not going to set it on the table. I'm going to do one thing better, and I'm going to mount it on that back wall, perhaps putting it right there so it's back in the reach, and yet I can see if there's any missed messages. All right, now that I've cleared the clutter out of the way and I figured out where I want the height to be. So right here, we have that it's high enough above the table so it'll slide underneath if we ever need to. And at the same time, I want to be easily be able to kind of see around the room. So this is not in the way. So I'm gonna eyeball it here. I'm not trying to be too precise, don't need to be. And then I've got my trusty pencil with me. I'm gonna put one screw here and I'll put another screw there and then uh, we'll uh, get this secured. Okay, so this um, kitchen rack has been repurposed now as a charger. So let's see how well this works. I use my Android phone a lot, so I can put that through here. And, um, you know, these are just cables. So if you want to do some cable management and, and, you know, push them through here, depending on the design, that's perfectly fine. You could do that and uh, put in the charger and then drop it in or you could push this in. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could do that. But for me, what works best just depends on your design. I don't mind if the cables drop, so just set that in here and I drop it and go. And that'll be the same thing. I've got my iPhone, put that in here, I've got my other iPhone, and that goes right in there just like that. Do a little, as I mentioned, cable management. If you want to, you know, put an anchor right here, that's perfectly fine. Whatever you want, try and keep it minimal, try and keep it nice and clean. And uh, I've got my charger here. This is um, this actually fits in here, but uh, here we go. We could fit this back to back, and then we could put another charger on that. I've got my uh, wire, but it's a little bit too short for this installation video. But we can imagine that it would go somewhere like that. All right, so here we have a great shot of the lovely table. It's nice and clutter-free. I've got the wires kind of hitting in the back. And if I need to grab a phone, if I need to see which one's ringing, shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, I tell you, this is going to be great. Um, just come here, figure out what phone I need. You know, I'll do some of the wiring later. It's just a matter of dropping. I don't mind it so much, but being able to free up that amount of room and I don't use these phones to some degree every day. So keeping them out of the way, in and out, keeping it clean, clutter free, absolutely love it. Uh, only thing that I might change is I'll probably put some type of cable management here just to make it look nice. Maybe a tie off so when I unhook they just remain somewhere here. Uh, otherwise it looks really nice, really good. 